Hi fellow dreamers, if you have trouble falling asleep, this is a perfect video for you. We are going to offer some wonderful tips and ideas that you can use to incorporate into your bedtime routine so that way you can have those beautiful dreams and drift on to sleep. Thanks for joining everybody. My name is Carolina. I focus on doing children's books like these right here that promote love, unity, and peace. And I also help my followers interpret their dreams. Of course, we do this because when we listen to our dreams, we're connecting to our subconscious and when we share them, we connect with one another on a more profound level. So let's get started with the topic of today. Now, we are going to offer some tips on specific teas that you can drink. So that'll be the first part. And then the second part is we're going to offer some wonderful stretches that you can do that will also help you sleep. So let's start with the first one. All right, the first tea that I always drink to help really relax me is lavender tea. Lavender tea is beautiful because not only does it taste good and it's nice and warm, but it also has a wonderful scent. So take some time before you drink your tea and actually just like sniff it a little bit. The scent will relax you. Remember in the other videos we talked about how important it is to create that mood for yourself before bed and scent is a big player in that okay the more that the smells around you are calming and relaxing that is going to tell your mind you know we're chill we're ready to go to bed this is great okay so make sure to have some lavender tea on hand if you're not a fan of what lavender tea tastes like that's okay we've got another option for you okay second option here for the teas is chamomile tea okay chamomile tea is also wonderful because it does help get you sleepy like for me as soon as i drink my chamomile tea i'm already feeling a little like i'm gonna doze off it's super relaxing for me now you're going to have to try both of these teas and see what works best for you because everybody has a different connection with teas and one may work better for you than it does for me but chamomile tea is another wonderful option again you want to make sure to smell the tea drink the tea and take your time with it okay now the third tea that i've been drinking to help me sleep is valerian root tea okay so now this one is one that i'm most new to i usually do chamomile and lavender but the valerian root is also a nice flavor for somebody that doesn't enjoy like the floral uh, flavors of teas this is a good one for you it's obviously a root tea so it's going to taste a little bit differently but this one is also wonderful because it does help you get into that easy state of sleep okay remember with these teas you want to make sure that you're also taking some time to smell them to really just be in the moment okay and now it's not just the fact that you're drinking the tea but it's also that you're relaxing and you're staying in the moment with this all right now one of the other things that you can do for your bedtime routine is include some stretches okay wonderful stretches before you go to bed is just a wonderful way to get you not only ready to sleep but also get rid of any tension that you may have carried around for the day now some of our viewers like to do yoga before bed and that's wonderful if you're not a big fan of yoga that's okay we're going to offer just some very simple stretches you can do here all right now one of the first stretches one that i really really like is the bear hug okay so now this is just like where you hold yourself like this okay and now any stretch that you do breathing is so important okay just like breathing is so important when you're meditating when you're falling asleep the breath is incredibly important it keeps us calm it keeps us focused so as you're holding yourself like this like the bear hug this what it's doing is you're stretching out like your little back muscles you're stretching out your arms okay you're stretching things out but if you're breathing deeply okay this is also a beautiful connection with your mind and just relaxing you okay so take your time and just do this if you like to like rub your little shoulders do that too because essentially that is a really good connection with the self okay you're providing some reassurance you're providing just that comfort for the body so go ahead and try that bear hug before you go to bed another little simple stretch you can do are simple little neck uh, exercises neck stretches okay now you can find a video that's specific on neck stretches but basically it's just breathing and um, whenever you do stretch your neck a little bit don't force it just kind of let your neck lay over to the side and you could go downward too and you can go to this side here i don't really like to go back like this i think it kind of hurts my neck so you just kind of do whatever is good for you remember you want to just listen to your body and breathe with yourself okay but these stretches are really nice because they really do just relax you and get you ready for bed and also the reason you want to stretch your neck too is because you're going to be like this on your pillow the whole night right so you just want to make sure that there's some flexibility here for you because sometimes our dreamers wake up and they're like oh i got like this cramp in my neck oftentimes it's because we're not stretching the neck enough and also because maybe our pillow isn't the best pillow for us so go ahead and look into that step two now let me remember what's my last stretch we did 
Oh, okay, right. We did the next stretch just now. We did the bear hug. One of the other stretches. Now, this one is a very nice one. It's the child's pose, okay? Oftentimes, you do this in yoga. You don't have to do a whole yoga series for yourself. You can just pick a pose that works for you. For me, child's pose is a wonderful pose. I'll put the image right here for you. All right, and basically, in that one, again, you're breathing deeply. You are breathing deeply, but what this does is this just connects you to your body and gets you super connected to the ground, like very grounded. So do this pose, and this is also going to help you get comfortable and ready to sleep now for bonus points do this this is something that i absolutely love doing i love to combine all of these things together so for example i'll get my tea let's say i get my lavender tea for the night because that's what i'm feeling i'll go ahead and get my lavender tea i get my little yoga mat and i put some music on some very relaxing music and then i go ahead and i do these stretches right then and there so i'm combining all of these things together and it's just like a beautiful little combination of calming and just wonderful things to do for yourself before bed it really is a gift to yourself so remember just like whenever you wake up and you have like your morning routine of brushing your teeth taking your shower maybe you exercise whatever your routine is in the morning the nighttime routine is just as important if not more because you're essentially getting ready to connect with your subconscious and to explore dream state so remember you're going to wake up with whatever information you come out of that state with so it's really important that you do a beautiful kind of routine for yourself before bed now i hope that these tips were um, valuable to you i hope that uh, maybe you do some others that we haven't heard of and if you do put them down below so that way we can learn from you as well and i want to remind you that we are going to be doing our live on TikTok Wednesday at 6 p.m. Eastern. Let me know if you're interested in us doing lives here too, but for now, we really enjoy doing them on that TikTok platform. It's just easier to use. And the last thing I want to let you know is we're also going to be offering more videos on TikTok in both English and in Spanish. So if you do follow us on there, just be patient because know that we are posting things in English and we're also posting them in Spanish. And during our lives, they are in both languages. Lastly, dreamers, if you have any other questions with a specific dream or you want to understand your dream language further, know that we do offer one-on-one -on -one consultations. Now, now, if you have a couple group of friends and you want to do an online dream circle let me know on my website and we'll be happy to set one up for you but guys i send you a huge hug i send you love unity and peace and we will be in contact bye everybody thank you for your support and love fellow dreamers to continue to support us you can go to our website and purchase our wonderful lupita bugs they're in english and in spanish with highlights also if you're interested in our wonderful and fun artwork you can purchase that here directly from me or you can go to our wonderful red bubble store we have our artwork there on stickers cups all sorts of fun things you can also find our very fun little bags for yourself and of course it wouldn't be complete without your wonderful pillows so you can go to sleep and have more amazing dreams but I want to thank you dreamers because of you we continue to do these wonderful videos and we continue to grow our loving community thank you so much and I will see you soon Bye.